Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm addressing slash uh, updating a previous video I did about you know Dave Chappelle um, because I'm not sure if you guys have seen in the last couple of days, uh, Dave has stated that he would be willing to sit down with the trans community, um, but obviously he would only do so on his own terms. And this video isn't just about that because that's just a small portion of what's going on. This video is actually more about the uh, person who publicized the situation and um, attacked Dave in the public, right? And uh, started the whole walkout, and they were trying to be the champion of this uh, situation uh, of the trans community versus Dave Chappelle and Netflix. So Dave recently said uh, that he wouldn't have any issues uh, working with uh, or speaking with the, the with the trans community on his terms, uh, as you can see here, he's more than willing. But you can't summon him, which obviously he's an adult. You can't just summon people and demand that they give you attention and their time. That's not how life works. Um, you know, you got to at least show him that respect, the same respect you should give anyone. Like, no, you can't just demand someone's time. Um, but his conditions were that. You have to watch a special, which makes sense. You, you can't take snippets off the internet and think you know the whole story. You gotta hear the entire uh, piece so that you can truly formulate an opinion of, of was he being directly offensive, purposely offensive and things of that nature. Um, and it has to be a place that he wants to go to and a time of his choosing. Obviously, you wanna form with him. That makes perfect sense to me. Um, so that's Dave, obviously, being an adult about the situation, saying, hey, I don't have no problem with talking to, any, to anyone, especially people that are calling me out and that's trying to personally attack me. You know, he has no issue with that. Um, but the next portion of this comes from, you know, there's an article from Yahoo about the activists, I believe, Ashley uh, Preston, uh, Ashley Marie Preston is the person's name, and you've probably seen the videos of this individual here um, being outspoken and demanding Netflix make changes and demanding uh, Dave Chappelle meet with the trans community. But, and this goes back to a video that I'm gonna link here at the top. Um, I did a video uh, saying how sometimes we say things out of anger and we've all been there because we're human. And what I want to say, is, it doesn't matter of what subculture or sub community you belong on, you belong to. We're all part of the human race, right? And we all have human tendencies and we all have human emotions and we're all going to say things that are offensive, especially when we're angry. You know, if, if you're mad with someone, you're, not, you're obviously not going to say things out of kindness. You're going to say things to hurt their feelings. You're going to say things that will purposely offend them that's natural we all do it if you're trying to comfort somebody don't you say things to make them feel better it, it's just human emotions and that's how, how we are but you know in this cancel culture environment that, that's been created um you ex we have expectations for people that you're not human and you got to follow the superior perfection uh I ideology of who people are supposed to be and it's just false so this person that was coming at dave uh, and coming at Netflix, uh, has old tweets that resurfaced. And I'm going to take a look at some of these tweets here. But um, talking about Bernie Sanders here, that is the last time I, I helped that. So you can see, I'm not going to read these comments. You guys can see these comments. But... This is a person who is saying that Dave Chappelle is being offensive and trying to hurt a community. And you can see that clearly he had an issue or. Uh, uh, yeah, there was an issue with Bernie Sanders, and this is how you chose to address Bernie Sanders to be as offensive as possible because you was angry with something I guess Bernie said or Bernie didn't do. And again, human emotion, that's normal. Um, again, you know, uh, these are similar, 
Um, I believe there are some other. Uh, uh, this is a article here. Where she, uh, she made anti-Asian comments. Uh, calling out Caitlyn Jenner, calling him an effing fraud. Um, more tweets here of being offensive. So this isn't one-time behavior. This is a series of behavior, and you could you could Google this, and and you guys can find out more about the anti-Asian tweets that that she put out there. I'm not going to go through everything, or but uh, it's out there on the internet. You guys know you can you can definitely find it. But the point is, is that this is what happens. Uh, here are the actually some excerpts from it here. Uh, this Asian, you know. Uh, Latino Asian businesses need to stop being. Uh, but, you know, can you speak English? You know, and now insulting um, their ability to drive. So, again, these are things, obviously, you, you feel like they hit, they almost hit you in a car. An emotion comes over you of anger. And now you're starting to go out and say offensive things again. Natural human nature, this is what we do. We are not perfect beings. We can try to be the best person and the best individuals that we possibly can, but we're not perfect. And this is a, a prime example of it. And so with this cancel culture is people hold celebrities or uh, just anybody to this standard that they can't match and they can't live up to. And on... This, to me, hurts on so many levels because there may be some people of the trans community that are going through things. And guess what? Because of you trying to uh, hold yourself or hold Dave Chappelle and Netflix's high standard, and you tried to publicly create a forum and a, and a platform for yourself, you were exposed. And now you're going to hurt the next person that has a righteous um, uh, cause or has a... A, a, a true uh, situation to be taken less seriously, potentially because you uh, created this uh, uh, you created this this fiasco that didn't need to happen because what Dave did was create a form of art and art does not have to be accepted or enjoyed or liked by everyone. It's for the people who appreciate it to enjoy it and for others unfortunately there's other forms of art out there for you there's other artwork out there for you so there's no reason for you to create this this drama behind what dave Chappelle and netflix supporting him and the proof here is that uh i mean look at these comments here you know the proof the the, the proof is here that you're not perfect nobody's perfect and we can't hold anyone to a standard now you may come out and apologize. Or you may have already done so. Came out and apologize. Oh, oh, you know. But this is just proof that you should have stayed out of the situation because you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Dave isn't perfect. So people that's out here defending Dave and supporting Dave is understanding. Hey, this is art. It's not going to be appreciated, enjoyed, and loved by everyone, liked by everyone. But it's for people who do. And that's what art is. Um, and here's another article, you know, Joe Rogan being a champion of his own horse to wormer situation that he's been going back and forth with, with uh, CNN. So him and Dave Chappelle are uh, doing shows together there. I think I believe they're touring together, if I'm not mistaken, on a comedy tour. And, you know, both of these guys are kind of champion the anti cancel culture. And it's what we need. We need people to strong individuals to stand up for themselves and 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 and. and Stand up to people that's trying to call them out just to say, hey, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Why are you trying to deplatform me? Why are you trying to embarrass me publicly and, and destroy my name for not being perfect when you're not perfect? And a lot of times these people who are trying to cancel others never look in the mirror and realize, oh, yeah, I've been offensive. Oh, yeah, I've done that. And then they get exposed and then they want to come out and say, oh, I'm sorry. You know, that was a long time ago. I learned from it, blah, blah, blah. And you expect us to accept it. 
but you refuse to accept what Joe Rogan does, or you refuse to accept what Dave Chappelle does. And, you know, it's just insanity. And I just hope as as a society, we just get past this and get remove this cancel culture because we need each other. We, we, we can't survive without one another. The only way life can progress is unity. The only way we can evolve is unity. And we can't be canceling each other and, and uh, refusing to, to speak to one another and, and holding each other to these standards that we can't hold ourselves to. And um, allowing some subtle differences be the deterrent from us to communicate with one another. We got to change that. Because if we continue on this road, the future is not bright. And I'm, I'm hoping guys like Joe Rogan, Dave Chappelle, and there's others out there, and there's YouTubers that are speaking out against this. And I hope that collectively we can change this narrative because we need each other. And we just get back to that place that, hey, let's sit down respectfully and have a dialogue. And I understand that you're angry. So you know what? When you're angry, go off privately Say what you got to say. And then when you are in control of your emotions, let's sit down and have a dialogue. Isn't that what people told you? Blow off some steam. You know, when you were young or, or throughout life, blow, go blow off some steam, come back, and then we can talk about it when, when, when clearer minds prevail. So I don't understand why that uh, is escaping so many adult and uh, minds. I understand for children to be doing this stuff, but we're adults. And this is how we're conducting ourselves. And then we're embarrassing ourselves because we could, we're forgetting you have a past as well. We all have a past. We all have done things that we're not proud of. And we don't want them to come to light and be a reason why we lose an opportunity or our family has to deal with um, answering for, for our behavior when no one is perfect. And let's remember that. So I'm gonna end the video here. And as always, if you enjoyed the video and you wanna hear more, Please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification button. If you didn't like the video, I appreciate you listening. And as always, take care of your mind, take care of your body, take care of each other. That's all we got. Peace.